Hello and welcome to Late Tackle. We've just had the third week of Super Rugby. We had some exciting matches, but we have an illness. Once again, as is so often the case, the most talked about people this week have not been the players, but rather the referees and the TMO. Big game in South Africa this weekend was the Bulls versus the Sharks at Loftus Fastfelt. That's always a big game. And we saw a guy, Yaku van Heerden, making his Super Rugby debut as a referee. Now, we know Yaku's no fool. This guy is an advocate. Yeah, and he's been refereeing for 10 years. I just have to say, I don't think there's anywhere probably as hard as the world to referee as, as Loftus. And now it's his debut. Right, you know? and Yaku is from Pretoria. Right, That's not his fault. He didn't appoint himself to this game. Right, He didn't decide to start with the Bulls Sharks at Loftus in his first game. Right, He was appointed by Sanzo. Mm. They're the ones who decided that he should do the game. And uh, yeah, he came in for some serious criticism along with TMO Johan Griff. Yeah. There was especially one incident with a forward pass yeah. from Jesse Krill. Yeah. The TMO was honest. The issue was which direction is the ball coming out of his hand. And he said, I cannot see which direction. What what they're being told is it has to be a clear and obvious reason for the try not to be scored. Right. And he said, I don't have one. There's a directive from above the referees that yeah. says the decision must be clear and obvious. He is, the referee is there to apply the law and they did it as well as they could. Yeah. Now we know that rugby is an incredibly complicated game. It yeah. always has been, right? And the laws are being changed all the time yeah. by the powers that be, which makes it even tougher. We can go to a game and sit on opposite sides of the stadium, look at the same breakdown yeah. and see two different infringements at the same ruck. And what I also want to say is that they should rather than direct the anger at the people like the ILB, at Sanzo, don't have a go at the people who are just implementing what they've been told to do, you know? Exactly. You know, and I think in our fury, we forget that these oaks are people. They're humans, they're fallible, they make mistakes. Gosh, there's so many things to watch on a rugby field. Why would they try and make a mistake when they know that there's going to be this completely unfair social media storm coming towards them. And there's, there's no conspiracy, guys. Okay, take off the tinfoil hats. Okay, rugby players are not bribed. Bryce Lawrence is not chilling out in a mansion paid with, you know, by Aussie dollars and kangaroo pelts. There's been some, actually some very dark and I think quite shameful moments in South Africa's history. Yeah, we remember 2002 when this guy Pete Van Sale ran on the field at Kings Park in a test match and tackled the referee. That was, yeah, embarrassing, was embarrassing for all South yeah. Africans. Uh, and then we had the Bryce Lawrence debacle of the quarterfinal of the 2011 World Cup where we had hundreds of thousands of people signing a Facebook petition to try and end his career. And now a guy makes a few re decisions which we don't agree on and we all go, right, let's end him. The guys at the sharp end of it are, the, are your average referee who's at a club game or at a school game. He's getting confronted in the car park. He's getting assaulted. He's getting abused by parents on the side it's of the bad. field. It's bad. It's bad. Why would people want to be a referee in South Africa yeah. if they know that their every move is going to be abused? Then you expect the top guys to be on top of their game. Yeah. Right? Now, players make mistakes all the time. They don't necessarily always get dropped. And referees do get dropped. Bryce Lawrence yeah. didn't carry on refing. Right? Referees do go down the pecking order. But what I'd like to know is if the top guys aren't good enough, if the armchair critic thinks that, you know, the top guys aren't cutting it, then who do they think should be refereeing? Yeah, and Where, the guys on the next level are guys like Jakub van Heerden. And look at what happened to him on Saturday. You know, and I can understand the thinking. If we abuse the refs out of fear, they will ref better. We're decreasing the pool of people that are going to want to be refs, you know? So we're actually lowering the level. Maybe one day we'll have sentient robots, okay, who can control everything and can and can, can ref our... Oh, we'll still have a go at them, surely. Yeah, right? and then the robots will probably read the, the goes that they're having at and then go, you know what, let's just enslave humanity, it's time. And I won't be able to really argue, you know, against their point. But on the subject of men behaving badly, let's have a look at our thing of the week. Well, in Loftus, both captains, they're leading by example. I think they're missing each other a little bit much. And you can see they're getting in there quite close for a bit of a hug and a potential kiss there, hey? And I'm... I, can you work out what uh, Bismarck's saying yeah, there? Oh, look, I'm, I'm not, not, not a lip reader, but um, you know, I think they're probably just going over the Springbok line-out calls, obviously. Yeah, it's going to be fun on the next uh, tour ride on the bus. Sure, back. sure, sure. <laughs> on the somewhat light-hearted matter, we've made a little video clip, as you can see here, the hazards of being a ref. So go have a look at that. Okay, now we've got some comments. We always appreciate the feedback, positive or negative, from our viewers. We got one from Province Fan. He said, is it just me or are you both UCT alumni? Wrong on that one. I'm sorry, I went to Varsity at Rhodes. Um, we know Anton... Well, look, I've still got blue paint uh, on my arm uh, from last night. And that leads me actually on to Bodkin's comment, who commented on my uh, arm here and said I should transfer it to your face. <laughs> uh, but look, China, if you think this is hectic, uh, you must see me without a top off and, uh, and my back. Let's do some predictions. Chiefs Highlanders? Got to be Chiefs. Same. Brumbies Force? Brumbies. Yeah. Blues Lions? I'll go Blues to win the first game of the year. I'm going Lions. Reds Tars? Tars, eh, surely. Uh, likewise. Cheetahs, Bulls? Bulls to win. Cheetahs, Stormers, Sharks? 
Sharks and Newlands? I'm going Stormers. All right. I'm Anton Taylor. I'm Michael DeFries. This is Late Tackle.